Hey, welcome to Wine Jam with me, some cash, uh, taking a deeper look into wines. We're back in the sampler again, and uh, I might not explain last time with the machines that we've got here behind me, but these are called enomatic machines, and they allow samples to be poured out of bottles and to also preserve the bottle as well from its freshness. So you just place the card into the slot here, which you will have money uh, put onto the actual prepaid card, and then it will pour out a certain amount of uh, wine. So I'm able to then taste quite expensive wines or quite a few range of wines uh, for not the cost of the whole bottle, which is great. Um, unless you've obviously got a Coravin, that'd be even better where you buy the bottle and you can have it for about six to seven weeks. Uh, but in this case, uh, we're just gonna be taking a look at uh, three different kind of wines. Uh, so uh, one's gonna be quite expensive, uh, someone's in sort of a mid to high range and then uh, just at the lower end, just to give you kind of a perception of different versions of wines and why some are more expensive than others. So first up is we have the uh, Altissimo, which is a Italian uh, Tuscan wine, uh, which is from Brunello de Montesino inside that region. And as you can see, this is a 1978 wine. Yeah, that's 1978. So, um, it's, uh, that's quite impressive, and as you can, and I'll show you as well with this uh, with this wine here that it's what, quite um, a garnet kind of colour as well, which is what happens with the age of wines overall. So um, I hope this is catching as best as it can. But this is, as you can see, kind of dark brown, orangey hue with very little kind of red uh, left over as the colours are concerned. And uh, if I just bring you back round to the actual area. This is the small little square here, Italy obviously here, um, which represents the Brunello of the Montesino. So if I move over to this side of the map, uh, I hope to kind of focus in. But uh, as you can see here, this is Montesino. And then number two here is actually where uh, our wine is uh, positioned in this area. And if we move down to this map over here, what you'll find is it's just based on the top of this hill, quite close to the river. Its uh, soil is uh, shaly clay, uh, which has limestone as well. And uh, so we're gonna see what it tastes like. Oh, it's quite dark plums, dark cherries on that. It's turning slightly, so it's um, got some almond smell there, some sherry smells there, which is kind of understandable for such a, for such a vintage so old. Yeah, a bit more leathery, a bit more wild venison on that but dried um, with a touch of kind of not so much fruit there uh, the tannins are quite still you know mouth coating as such so it's a lovely kind of mouthfeel to this but it's um, it shows a completely different aspect and unique flavors to this a touch of the dark chocolate almost even a touch of caramel as well Not hinting so much as the sweeter uh, significance of this, but just in the flavor profile. Mmm, quite delicious that. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna now go, so that was uh, 85 pounds uh, for this bottle. Um, so uh, that's kind of top of the range as far as the wine's concerned. I think for such a great age on that, um, it'd be hard best to find something aged as well as that on, on that kind of price. And if I move you to our second wine, which is the Ridge California Gerseville, which is, uh, don't confuse it with the Montebello. Uh, this is the 1996, and uh, as you might also read here, it's 75% uh, Zinfandel, 17% uh, Carignan, 6% Petit Syrah, and 2% Montaro. Apologies, this is 100% uh, Sangiovese, uh, this Italian wine here. And let's just have a look at the colorization on this. So again here, as you can see, there's a slightly more uh, fresher red pigments there with a slight orangey hue around the edges. And uh, obviously with this age here, it's showing how that development kind of moves into something like we've just seen before in that 1978 uh, wine there. But uh, it's still kind of a bit garnet and there's a bit of um, Residual coming from the uh, from the bottle. So this is obviously California. Uh, this is the map here of California, as such, going down the coastal area. 
and this small map here shows that where that coastal area is coming from uh, and then if I move back over to what I originally started with the ridge should be I'm guessing you guys have probably seen it before I have there we go there's the ridge there uh, so this is in the Sonoma County area go just going south into the Santa Cruz mountains uh, and this is just below basically um, San Diego as such uh, so yeah, that's the position of it uh, let's go back to the wine and have a good tasting of this tea leaves is what I really get on this it's quite, quite leafy actually on the, on the nose uh, slight cassis flavour it's a flavour smell rich cherries um, dark rambly fruits um, there's a touch of licorice as well on that one. Yeah, but it's lovely. I mean, it just it has a really long lingering feeling to this. Um, obviously, a full bodied. Uh, the acidity is still apparent, really. Um, not as mouth coating as the last one. Mm. But it's. Yeah, it's got some. It goes from the kind of primary cherry flavours that then moves into the sort of licorice flavours that you might get and then in the, the sort of tertiary flavours um, touches on just on sort of sweeter um, meats that you can think of um, but yeah lovely there's you know even touches of mint I find there as well but for Zinfandel you know this is not what you probably expect when you do hear about Zinfandels but they've got a great kind of uh, longevity in these wines um, so the ridge um, is uh, actually kept uh, in small stainless tanks uh, for a short period. 1996 uh, wasn't considered to be a great vintage uh, for its season. The quite strong showers are coming in for 1996 overall, um, but it still shows off a, a great, um, a great wine there. This is 60 pounds for this bottle. Um, so, you know, it's kind of the 20 pound step down from that, but you can see the significant difference. But I, I think as well with the ridge here, you could probably keep it for quite a bit longer, for another 10 more years, I'd say, overall. Um, but yeah, a good, a good wine there. And just to put it into perspective, uh, is the Sangiovese uh, Vino Nobili uh, Montepulciano. This is 100% Sangiovese. It comes from a different area within the uh, Tuscan region, but um, th this is predominantly just to show off uh, the difference here. As you can see with this color here, it's uh, quite a brighter red here, less, no kind of orange hues on this. So when it comes to the tasting of this, uh, it should be brighter as well on the palette as well. Mm. Yeah, that's brighter cherries, um, kind of crisp red apples, uh, kind of slightly cassis as well there, with a touch of that, not, not like a heavy as, uh, as I expect. Uh, here again, medium tannins, uh, medium acidity to light acidity really, um, but it's a much more fresher style. It's, uh, the, yeah, the acidity is definitely coming more through, the tannins are definitely coming more through, and it's um, it's a brighter wine overall, and that's the main difference between getting something which is uh, an 85 pound bottle of wine, and a this one is 27, so we can say 30 pound bottle of wine. Um, is that there's just more kind of flavours, more going on, as I talked about in the one before. Um, is like a, a primary, a secondary, no, tertiary flavours. There's like three layers to it, whereas this one's quite straight up front. Um, it's also got quite a shorter lingering um, taste on this particular wine as well um, and I don't really expect this to age for much more than five more years to really get anything more out of it so that's my review uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon guys thanks for Thank watching you. our video uh, please like down below uh, if you like our videos and we will be having more content which you can click here and here of the videos that we've done already or you can also subscribe just here by clicking here exactly so we hope you see more of our wine content because we love You'll it love it as well i promise <laughs> <laughs> right. on note, cheers cheers see, see you, you guys soon, soon. <laughs> mm. <laughs>